Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Jo Kamaka. I reside at Alaba, worshiping at Alaba region. I joined this great movement in the year 20, 2002. And I thank God for making me and my family a choosing. Thank you, Father. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But then it all happened like this. So I'm sorry because I did not testify it when I was supposed to. It happened the last Thursday before we have a father. So we are here. Before then, I, my body changed. I don't understand my body again. Before you know it, I was not going to toilet again. I'm having house swelling. So that Thursday, before we have a father, I came here. I was sitting somewhere there. And on when my daddy was mentioning the cases, he, mentioned, he made mention of that my case, that you that are, been, that are here that are not going to toilet. And you have been complaining. Actually, I've been complaining. I complained to my mother. Even that morning, before coming, I complained for one of my sisters. So as I came that very day, my daddy mentioned my case. And he said, you go to that toilet and go easily. Beloved, that is how it happened. Power! I went home, I went to the toilet and easily. I thank Clap your hands out to God who chooses. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to thank this God of heaven. For using this, our daddy to be breaking many yokes in our lives. I pray for him, heaven at last, daddy. My mommy in the Lord, I love you. I love the children. I love choosing members all worldwide. And I pray heaven at last to each and every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember my testimony with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus Christ. I want us to clap our hands unto God of choosing. The, the next testifier now. Susie, praise the Lord. Susie, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Susie, pray, Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My name is Brother Tamo Wada. I was in this great ministry. So you praise the Lord. My name is Brother Samuel Wada. I worship at Jesha here. My testimony is, I have two testimonies to give. I traveled last two weeks to Kogi State to approach without any complaint and any trouble along the road. Thank you, I'm Father. I'm to give the honor and glory for Johnny Mercy's. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. My second testimony is a resolution against our daddy Joe. On Sunday, the message and preaching of our daddy Joe last week is too much. He says that if you are here, you speak against the church, against the brothers or sisters in this church, or against the pastor, against the state pastor, that you should go and do the resolution, or you go, go and meet the person that I'm sorry. That is why the affliction, trouble all around is in you. So immediately, I just knew that here. I say this message in the year 2013, in the time of a cassette of Lydia. I follow them watching that cassette. What I open my mouth and say, I say, maybe it's true. Immediately I knew that I said, Daddy, forgive me. All my body changed. Hey! All my body changed. Clap your hands on the God of choosing her. I stand, I knew that here more than five minutes. I said, Daddy, I'm very sorry. In the year 2013. I was the cachet. I'm very sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me, daddy. Forgive me. Immediately, I started to sweat. Sweat come upon me. Sweat, sweat, sweat. I stood up. Since that day on Wednesday to today, I have to have a dream. I see the edges of my daddy. He came to me. He said, all the blockage in your life is broken. Kai, clap your hands on to God of choosing. I said, now, today, I must come out in spirit. Daddy have already forgiven me. Physically, I must come out and open up and tell daddy to forgive me physically today. That is why I'm here today. I'm very sorry for my stubbornness. Since the year 2040, when I joined the Grace Miss, I overheard many testimony concerning this Lydia cassette. But what I know, I say, I'm not a Susan there. That is why I just relax on that. But what is bothering me since last year to now? Since last year, I'm being messed up with the spirit wife. No favor, no connection at all. No, I sleepless also. I used to sleep well in the night. All these things. 
concise me what the daddy said uh, on Sundays. That is why I'm here to say, Daddy, I'm very sorry. If you are here and uh, listen to me now, forgive me, I'm very sorry for my stubbornness. For delaying this testimony till today, in spirit you are forgetting, for forgiving me. Physically, forgive me today. I'm very sorry. For open my mouth, I say, maybe the cassette I, I watch is, maybe is, what I say is true. I open my mouth, I say so. Daddy, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me. Um, it was the year, the last the year 2017. This God of Susan, help me. I build my house for my village. Do everything. Build and I'm, I'm starting to do the plaster. But I started to do whatever I wanted to do now. It's my song. Nothing work well for me again. You understand? I'm very sorry, Daddy. Forgive me. Forgive me. I'm very sorry. Forgive me. I'm sorry, Daddy. Amen. I'm very sorry. Our general overseer, by the grace of God, we can speak for him on this matter. He has forgiven you. Yeah, thank you, Daddy. I want us to clap our thank hands to God of choosing. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. I'm, I'm grateful, Daddy. Mommy, you forgive me. Should you all do all over the world? Forgive me. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Daddy, my prayer for you this morning. This God, according to this ministry, you will not disappoint you, don't fail you. You will fulfill your years. You will fulfill your ministry. Anywhere they are gagging up against you, holding meeting against you, plan evil against you, let the heavy stone come upon them. Let the heavy load come upon them. In Jesus' name I pray. You will fulfill your years and will make heaven at last. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Mommy, the Lord said to set will be a portion. As you are following daddy to do the will of God, and it shall be well with you. You will fulfill your years, you will fulfill your ministry. In Jesus' name I pray. Your Amen. children, they will succeed what they want for their life. They will not weakness any weapon. They will not weakness any danger. In Jesus' name I pray. So you want why? Help me at last. I my family. Help me at last. In Jesus' name I pray. I love my daddy, Joe. I love my mommy, Joe. I love my son. So you need first class in Jesus' name. Clap your hands out to God or choose him. He made a mistake. I believe it was a slip of tongue that he has had many testimony about uh, Linda cassette. There was no testimony in that cassette. That cassette was evil. But the testimony, what he wanted to say that he has had many testimony of people that, you know, watched that cassette and they were afflicted. But as they came to do their decision, God was choosing to deliver them. That was what he was trying to say. Shall we clap our hands unto God or choose him? I love his restitution. He said that after the message of our general overseer on Sunday about beware of idle word. After our geo preached, he said that Geo said, if you have spoken against anybody, Go to the person and say, this is what I said about you, and the person will forgive you. And he remembered that he said something against our geo some years back. He knelt down and first of all and said, God, that he's very sorry. Because afflictions were all over him. He said after that, he said, immediately he said this, his body system changed. He received signal that God had forgiven him. And in the dream, Jew appeared to him, and he has come to do the final resolution physically now. I want us to clap our hands unto God or choose him. I don't want to, because of our time, I don't want to go into many things that have happened to the people that watch this cassette. But some of you know some of them. It was terrible. Some of them were carried here on a wheelchair just for watching the cassette and speaking ever against our pastor. God afflicted them. They came here and did their resolution. So if you know any person, or you are involved like our brother, you can do your own resolution and will be free in Jesus' name. Can I hear a loud amen? amen. The next testifier now. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister John. My name is, sorry, my name is Sister Manuela John. I joined Choose in 2012. I live 25 Delhi Uri Sebi, by Ago. I worship at Ago, Okota Tattoo Branch. I came to testify what the Lord has done in my life. 
I thank God for his mercy, his protection, his love over my life and my family. I say may his name be highly exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. Last night, yesterday, I went to evangelism. When I came back, I was weak and I was somehow feeling dizzy. Already since I last year, I'll be sick. When I, if I go to hospital, they say typhoid, malaria parasites, hepatitis, and cephalic infection. So I keep on praying, praying, handing over to God of choosing. But this year, when I came back this year, the same thing continued. I continued to believe to God of choosing. Last week, I was totally weak and down. Except only me knows what I'm passing through. When I came here, I was terribly to God of choosing. I went to one of our sisters that said strong as at her God last stop, last God bus stop. When I met her, she sent me for a lab, a lab. When I went for the lab, I came back with the results I gave her. She gave me some drugs. So I was going through the drugs. Then yesterday, I went for evangelism. When I came back, I was totally down and weak. I say, God, what is all this? Then last night, I couldn't pray. I was weak. I said no. And I picked up my phone. I went to through our songs after playing it. I switched on my daddy's message. Said that it is done. When I switched on, he said that I should put my hand on my chest and declare said that it's done. I did it. And my through that uh, daddy message, after praying and praying, I was relief in my life so in my dream last night i was in dream i i was somewhere contemplating what is about this uh, sickness all over my life so and i had a voice that said stand up when i stood up he said that move straight when i moved i find myself in front of this altar when I looked, I said, I, this is not our headquarter altar. I said, oh, God. And I had a voice, kneel down. When I kneel down, everywhere was white. All over here was white. When I kneel down, I, I saw somebody come out from our daddy's office. Looked as if our daddy, white all over, from his head to down. So when I looked, I said, our daddy have come. So and I, he now collected his two hands and poured something like white upon my forehead here. When he poured that in, I see like something just froze on my life. I said, uh, I look around, every year was white. This altar was white. All over here was white. It's only me. And when I tried to capture him very well, if he's our daddy or not, he disappeared. And I had stood up, you're free. When I left, I find myself in my house where my sisters and brothers are sitting. They were crying in front of their sick. And I hold them. I said, it's okay. The matter has settled. When I said this, they now came back and looked at me. I said, I have received a strength from above that the Lord has hid us and hid me. That was, and when I woke up, it was around 2 p.m. last night. I said, God... When I woke up, for if I woke up, I used to perceive pains all over my life. I used to perceive fever, terrible fever on my life, on my body. But around that 2 p.m., the night I woke up, and after praying, I thank God. I said, this, this is a healing. I'll be hearing, hearing the testimony, but uh, today I've confirmed it. I say, God of choosing, who has done it for me? May his name alone be highly exalted. Who am I to uh, holy? Who am I to just receive his soul in it? Holy, receive Holy Ghost anointing. But today, the Lord has done it. All the sickness have vanished away from my life. But they have vanished away. I said, let God of choosing receive all the glory in the name of Jesus. At this junction, I wish my G.O. heaven at last. My lovely mommy, heaven at last. Him and my daddy is my mentor. I said, May his name be highly exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that oh my God, who call him on this, our generation, will give him much less strength and much less power in the name of Jesus. Amen. I wish choosing worldwide heaven at last. 
including my family, have not asked in Jesus' name. Amen. Clap your hands on to God or choose it now. The next testifier now. Remember, if you are there, you have testimony to share with us. We can go to left hand side of the pulpit. I made the interviewers. Opportunity to share your testimony will be given to you. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Bro Jonathan Chino Nyerem. I came to choosing in the year 2004. And I'm living at number nine Lassis of Soldier of Governor Road. I thank God for making me and my family choosing. Clap your hands on to God or choosing. Brethren, I fell sick last week and uh, I came here the same last week, Thursday, counseling and deliverance hour. This sickness lasted for three days. I was having serious headache and uh, all my face was paining me seriously. And uh, I said, let me try to go to headquarters for counseling and deliverance hour. So when I came here, our dad and the Lord was mentioning cases of sicknesses, which I claim it. So after the day, the administration will close, I went home. Since that Thursday, till now I am giving my testimony. I've never experienced such thing again. Clap your hands on to God or choose him. So I thank this God of choosing who has delivered me from this sickness. I don't know what it was, but God of choosing knows the best. Even my inner bodies, I don't know how I was feeling, but I thank God of choosing that the sickness is over. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, of choosing. So I want to pray for my dad and the Lord, heaven at last, the wife and the children, family members, heaven at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. I love my pastor. I love my church. I love my brethren. Choosing is first class. Shall we clap our hands on to God, of choosing? Thank you, Jesus. The next testifier now. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By God's grace, my name is Sister Neka Duru. I live at number nine, Tayo Badino Street. I go Okota Palace Way. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for making me and my family a choosing. Clap your hands on to God or choose him. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for what God has done for me. By the grace of God, God has seen me through my tertiary institution. I studied a five-year course, and to the glory of God, last year I graduated successfully. Power. Thank you, God or choose him. Thank you, Father. Choose him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I thank God for seeing me through all the hurdles on the campus. And God has given me victory. I say, may the name of the Lord be glorified forever in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for our daddy in the Lord, all the choosing ones, heaven at last, in Jesus' name. Amen. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Clap your hands out to God of choosing. The next testifier now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
My name is Sister Monica Odiegu, living at number 85 Ozo Street, Ajagunle. I entered choosing 2003 April. I thank God for my genuine salvation. <laughs> choosing praise the Lord. Last year, last year, February, I traveled at home. So when I reach, I see my daughter, he live at uh, Delta. He, he just getting a new pregnancy, like, like a three months or getting three months. So when I come back, in the dream, I see my daughter, I see one woman, he stand, and he tell us, say, see this woman, any day he will deliver a child, kill that child. I get up, I say, it can't happen. I cancel it. So when I come back, I notice it's my daughter. So my brothers and sisters, when he wants to deliver, I will go before him, she will deliver. So the pregnancy is already due. But the child to come out, no way. And daughter do everything, no way to come out. After daughter do the oppression, he noticed that the child is already sheet inside the womb. And all the child and the womb, everything is sheet. And nothing like water inside the womb. So when they bring the child, the child no cry, nothing. But through prayer, God revived the child, is alive. Choosing praise the Lord. The next thing in Mavumi is the, doctor, the pastor come to see him, hear her, when he deliver. When he notice, he asks him, is there a mother is this? Because I wear this uh, choosing polo. He say yes. He said, Mary, why not tell us that the mother is the choosing? We just disturbing ourselves that we are praying. Choosing is the clear and the habit. So, and very, very happy that the pastors and other churches notice what God choosing can do. So in the next day, when the daughter come, he began to talk everything he see, and my daughter get up and go and uh, eat himself and do everything. Daughter say, he never see her like this. You can eat everything. So my daughter began to eat everything, even pandadiam, even rice, and I give God glory. That's why I come. I say that I will come. I give God glory, honor, adoration, majesty, dominion, praises, thanksgiving. Be unto Him, only Him alone, in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for my G.O. and the family having at last, and all the chosen worldwide, including me and my family, having at last in Jesus' name. Amen. I cover my prayer, my testimony with the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Mama, what was the name of the sickness that the enemy afflicted your daughter with? Anemia. What was the sickness? Sickness. What happened to your daughter? Please. Ah, uh, 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 the not sickness okay. is the work of the devil. Okay. Uh, what happened? The child, they, they will find the way to come out. Okay. And no way. And daughter say, what do you? The problem for my daughter to deliver is not the, the first issue. Okay. But it is the work of the devil. But after the prayer, everything goes successful. Shall we clap our hands on to God or choosing? I don't know the work of the devil in your life. Today, after our pastor's prayer, those work of the devil will be destroyed. I didn't hear louder, amen. amen. The next testifier. Choosing praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Blessing Chukun. I live at Gwane Setegbeda. I want to apologize to God for not satisfying the test since 2013. In 2012, I was afflicted with the spirit of bedwetting after I clocked 12 years. Then, we came for the cross uh, change of garment in 2013 here in Chusin. So after we, after we left, we went home. It happened just once, and since then, it has never happened. This is six years now. I have not been with again. Clap your hands on the God of Chusin. I want to 
thank God for preserving me all this while and my family. I say may his name be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I thank God for his servant, uh, Gio. And I pray that may he make heaven at last in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for the choosing worldwide. May we all make heaven at last in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. I want to ask, when did this bedwetting start? Or how many years has it lasted in your body before God has intervened? It lasted for almost one year. Okay, one year. Yes, sir. And God of Chosen has delivered you. Yes, sir. I want us to clap our hands unto God of Chosen. <laughs> Remember, uh, that waiting is a reproachful affliction. But uh, whatever be the name, whether bed waiting, HIV, staphylococcus, cancer, ulcer, Whatever be the name, poverty, barrenness, today, God of will destroy them in your life in Jesus' name. The next testifier now. I have never seen this God before. This God is good. This God is kind, precious daddy, that is your name. I don't know why he loves me so much like this. You be God and not man. You be God and not man. Baba, you loved me more than my mother. You showed me mercy that I cannot buy with money. God of chosen, precious daddy, thank you so much. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Sister Ngozi Anuforo, and I reside at number 10, Fatusi Street, Ejigo in Lagos here. I came to Chosen 2003 and my testimony goes like this. I want to thank God for what God did in my life. Today is making it a year and six months that God has sustained me in the land of the living. I thought I would be a dead person last year. But God showed me mercy that no man can ever show to me. I want to thank him for healing me from these diseases. Number one, anemia. The second one, ulcer. The third one, cerebral malaria. Mm -hmm. The fourth one, sepsis. The fifth one, typhoid. The last one. Kidney infection. Clap your hands out to God of choosing. I want to tell you, my beloved brethren, that it is not a small thing that I passed through. Hmm. It is a terrible experience that I've, I will not wish anybody to pass through that experience. I want you to know that if you are serving this God of choosing, Serve him with all of your heart. Because the grace that you have is not the grace I have. Do you know that all the word that is coming from this pulpit, it is a word that will refine us, mold us, reconstruct us, rejuvenate us, work on us and prepare us for heaven at last. Beloved brothers and sisters, I want to thank God for his perfect healing upon my life. In that hospital, I was carried in an ambulance. And when they would get to Ikeja Hospital, 
The, people, the place was filled up. There was no space that they can put me. They were saying whether they will put me on the floor. But God used a brother in this church and told them that they should take me to Lut at Idiaraba. And when we got to Lut, Lut also was occupied. Many terrible cases in that place. And by the grace of God, the Lord Almighty showed me mercy. And there was a space for me to stay in. They took me to the emergency ward. And when I was there, it was a terrible experience. I don't even know what I was doing because the cerebral malaria came into my head that it was struck on me as madness. I was doing strange things. I was even beating my husband. I was sleeping with handcuff on my hand. They tied my leg, they tied my rope. I was defecating in a point. I was urinating in a particular point. I thought that I have gone. But I don't know that this God loves me so much. I don't know he still cares for me. Despite I was not qualified to be alive in the land of the living. Mm. I want you to know one thing that this God of choosing is real. God of choosing seated upon the throne in heaven. He came down. All the doctors and the nurses, they were tired of me. They don't want to even come near me because I was smelling. My kidney has already deteriorated inside of me. Hmm. I was using catheter to sit, to, to, to urinate. So on a point, I cut it off. And everything was just pouring away. They were tired of me in loot. Until a point, I just want to appreciate God for the kind of husband he gave to me. If it's some men, they will leave me in that hospital and they will run away. He was there packing all my, all my, I was defecating, he was packing them. He was doing all manner of things there. I was telling God, I thank you because later I start recovering myself. Because God of choosing came down. Clap your hands on to God of choosing. Thank you, God of choosing. The angel of our pastor came to that hospital and told me, these are the nurses that will touch you. These people, don't let them to touch you. Hmm. So when they, any of those one that came, they want to come and touch me. I'll, so, I'll be so violent to them that I allow those angelic nurses to touch me. So I just want to thank God for removing madness from me. Hi. I want to thank God that he did not allow me to walk on the streets of Lagos mad. I want us to do something for this God of choosing. Can we clap like never before? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, Lord. I want to thank God that he did not allow my children to be motherless children. I want to thank God that my husband, God did not allow him to be a widower. And I want to also appreciate God of the favor he gave me in that same hospital. Somebody that is so important, he came to that hospital. They were distributing money. And they were giving people that is sick money. And my husband went to him and they wrote my name. So the time they want to discharge us, we thought that the money will not come to us again. We even forgot about the money. So they called us on phone when I was in the house. They said we should come and take our money. 50,000 naira. I want to appreciate God for that marvelous encounter. Thank you, God of choosing. I also want to thank God that when I came out from the hospital, the Lord Almighty used a brother to favor me also with the fund sum of 50,000 naira. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God of choosing. Thank you, God of our pastor. Then lastly, I want to advise each and every one of us here. If you have been coming to choosing, and maybe it's 2003 or since when the choosing started or the inception of this ministry, I want you to value what God it's in your hand. I never valued what I had. Hmm. I never valued the precious gifts God gave to me. I started following the pleasure of the world instead of following the treasure of the gates. I want you to know there is God here. 
and holiness is achievable. Since I reposition my heart to serve God, the Lord Almighty has come down and started delivering me. That he has been doing a marvelous thing in my life. There is peace in my home now. Thank my God. children can call me mother. My husband is now a husband that loves me so much. I want to appreciate God for his marvelous works in my life. Thank you, Father. Clap your hands unto God of choosing. At this injunction, I want to pray for my pastor. I'm not worthy to pray for him, but I just want to pray for him. Daddy, let heaven at last be your portion by moving forward to the mansion no matter distractions that may come to your way the Lord will give you the strength to take all of us to heaven at last thank you so much thank you father you said that you joined us when? When did you join us? I heard it, that you joined us when? I joined the Chosen 2003. How did you join us? I came to Chosen as a club girl singing in the night shift of Webby at Collusium Night Shift. In short, I was a club singer, but I was also an international prostitute. But I was in my husband's house and I was a prostitute altogether. Hmm. So, but God of choosing, somebody that is in a beer parlor is the person that gave me a handbill when they were doing hope for the barren. So, I told, I told the person, you are selling alcohol and you are inviting me to choosing. So, that day, because I have so many trousers, almost 150 trousers, so, that day I was like, let me try. I now wore my skirt. And I came to this place. We are in that old auditorium. I was carrying almost eight attachments in my head. I was carrying India hem in my bag. I was carrying all the whole Ogogoro you can mention. Cigarettes. Everything. I say, if pastors start preaching, I will go to that castle and smoke. So I was thinking that it's other churches that I used to go to. I don't know that this place is different. The first time I entered, I saw men, they were sitting in one place. Women sitting in one place. I was angry in my spirit because my mission of going to church is to fall those men and I'm from church, I will go and sleep with them. That is my aim of going to church. After singing, I will sleep with men. In the church, they will give you complimentary card. You will exchange phone number. But this place is a different place entirely. Clap your hands on to God you're choosing anywhere you are. Brothers, I want you to know that I did a lot of atrocities. Mm. I did a lot of abominable things. I committed abortion that I cannot count. I sleep with men as if maybe it was my normal food. But God has been helping me. But I had something in my hand. I never valued it. That is why God allowed the enemy to afflict me. I want you to know that this is only 19% I had a blood in my body. But I was using that body to be in the hospital. Any doctor that comes to me, they will say they have not seen this type of thing before. Any nurse, they say they have not seen this type of thing before. So I want to appreciate God for all his mercy, for his goodness, for his transformation, for restoring me back. I cannot <laughs> preach the God of God again. I cannot pray with boldness because I repositioned my heart. I want to appreciate God. Thank you very much. Before you go, they confirm to me, you said that enemy afflicted you with number one, anemia. Yes. Ulcer. Yes, sir. Cerebral malaria, malaria that metamorphosed to a madness. Yes, sir. That you were handcuffed. Yes, sir. Uh, kidney infection. Yes. It was not functioning again because I, they were giving me oxygen. Hmm. It was not functioning. And everybody that is in my world, everybody was just dying. 
This one will die today. This one will die tomorrow. This one will die. One nurse came to me and told me, Ngozi, you, you know they die. Hmm. Hmm. He came in the night with a big injection that is big like my hand and told me that I offended her since how many years ago? That any time I come here and sing with the adult choir, that something used to affect her there. I don't know about it. That he come this night to come and kill me. So I stood here, you cannot kill me. And he left that injection and ran away. The same nurse injected somebody that died the next day. I want to appreciate God for his love. Hmm. You also said that you were afflicted with cystic. Yes, sir. Sepsis is a wound in my stomach. I had injury in my stomach. Hmm. Because last month, my stomach was getting protruded. My mother called me that my stomach, he saw me in the dream that my stomach was very big. I told my mother, affliction cannot rise the second time. The only greatest enemy I have now, it is that three-letter word, S-I-N, Satan in nature, sin. That is my greatest enemy. So in the dream, the Lord Almighty brought out two big rats in my private parts. Hmm. They came out with a big nylon. Many things was inside that nylon. I appreciate God for all his deliverance. Clap I your want... hands unto God or choose it now. This is marvelous. I want to thank God for one of our brothers that have been praying for me. I say may the Lord bless him and encourage his family in Jesus' name. At the, at the height of this affliction, you made mention of angel of our pastor visiting you. Yes. What happened in that uh, encounter? He came to the hospital as a form of a man and told me that these are the people that will be touching me. These are the people that will not touch me. Because when they come in that hospital, me, I will be seeing them. You, you will be seeing them that they are standing normal. But one of their legs is up like this. And they will be taking people's blood, drinking blood with handsets. They will be taking many things so they know that I'm seeing them. So they want me, they wanted me to die. So what is happening in this wicked world? All the, those doctors and nurses are a place of no return. I told her, I, by the mercy of God, will return alive. Many of them, one cleaner that used to clean my body, he came early in the morning. He said somebody came to flog her. I don't know who flog her. He said that he will not clean my body again. I don't know who flog her. So I don't know what he was removing from my body. So I say all glory, all honor, all adoration, all preeminence be ascribed to this God of choosing in Jesus' name. Amen. I want us to give a resounding clap offering unto God of choosing the God of our pastor.